This video is on multiplying and dividing fractions. It's going to include mixed numbers and negatives. All right, so first thing, the most important thing is you have to make it improper. We did it a lot with our adding and subtracting, particularly when it was negatives. So a lot of times it's just easy. It's just to go ahead and make everything improper because then you're not going to mess anything up. But for multiplying and dividing, it has to be improper. So 3 and 1 fourth is 12 13 fourths times 4 thirteenths. Now, what's nice here is you do not need a common denominator. This is not like adding and subtracting. There's no common denominator. You just multiply across, okay? But what's really nice is you can look and see if you can factor out anything first. So 4 over 4, those can both be divided by 4, right? That's divided by 4, that's divided by 4. It's like simplifying. Um, 13 over 13, those can both be divided by 13. Divide by 13, you get 1. Divide by 13. Whole answer ends up being just 1 over 1, which is just 1. Okay, so 3 and 1 fourth times 4 thirteenths is just 1. So let's show that again on this one. We don't need a common denominator. We've got 1 fourth times 1 third times 1 half. There's no simplifying because the numerators are all already 1, so I can't simplify anything. All I'm going to do is multiply those denominators. So 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 in the numerator, and the denominator it's 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24. So 1 24. Okay. So it's different from adding and subtracting in that we don't need a common denominator, and then we actually do multiply and divide those denominators. All right, so let's practice a couple others. So we, they've got to be improper. So we got 4 and 1 fourth times 10 and 1 third. So we got 16, this one is 17 fourths, times 31 thirds. So you're looking for anything you can simplify. Unfortunately, 17 can't be divided by 4 or 3. 31 also can't be divided by 4 or 3. So we're just going to have to multiply it out. So multiply it out, we get 12. 31 times 17, just do it out. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, don't try to guess. And we get 527. Now, what's nice about the fact that we already looked to see if we could simplify it over here and we found nothing, is that we know this is simplified. You can turn it into a mixed number, but you don't have to, and you already know that that is simplified because nothing can be simplified on the other side. All right, this one, same thing. Let's turn it into improper fractions. So this is 9 fourths, but it's negative, times 13 halves, positive, times 12 39ths. Now, just like our multiplying and dividing rules when we had negatives before, one negative is going to make my answer negative. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over in my answer and then not worry about it anymore. Just do normal multiplying, okay? So I'm going to look for anything I can simplify. 12 and 2 can both be divided by 2. Um, 6 and 4 can both be divided by 2. It's fine to do the same number twice, okay? Uh, 3 and 39 can both be divided by 3. So I'm going to get rid of that 12 all together. And that's 13. 13 and 13 both divided by 13. So at this point, I have a 1, a 1, and a 9 in the numerator. So that's 9 times 1 times 1. And a 2, a 1, and a 1 in the denominator. And I get 2. So my final answer is negative 9 over 2. You can turn it into a mixed number if you want, but you don't have to. Be careful when you're doing this part and you're simplifying that it, you don't get lost and you can read what numbers you have left. Because it's common that you cross out so much you don't notice numbers. So make sure you can see those numbers. All right, last example is using some variables, okay? So this first one, we have 2 thirds times 9 in. Remember, any fraction, sorry, any whole number, you can make a fraction by putting it over 1. So this is even easier than the adding and subtracting because I don't need a common denominator. All I need to do is multiply. So I have 2 over 3 times 9 in over 1. I can actually simplify. That 3 and that 9, that 3 divided by 3 is 1, that 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then multiply. So I have 2 times 3 times n, which is 6n, 1 times 1, which is 1. So 6n over 1 is really just 6n. Remember, if it's over 1, it's really just a whole number. Okay. This next one, I have 2r over 5 times 1 over r. Again, I can simplify. This r and this r can both be divided by r. If I divide r by r, I get 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. Just like 8 divided by 8 was 1. When I divided this 3 by 3, I got 1. 
right? So r divided by r is 1. So those r's are gone. So in the numerator, I'm doing 2 times 1 is 2, and the denominator, 5 times 1 is 5. So this actually equals 2 fifths. The variables went away. All right, so go ahead and hit pause. Try this one on your own and see how you do it. And hit play to get your answer. All right, so I'm going to put it over 1. So we've got negative 3 over 1 times y over 6. I'm going to do some simplifying first. Divide these both by 3. If I divide by 3, that's not 2. That's 1, okay? And so I have negative 1 times y, so that's negative y, over 1 times 2 is 2. And there's my final answer, negative y over 2. All right, the bottom one, I can do a lot of simplifying. I have 3c over 5 times 5 over c. So both 5s can be divided by 5. Both c's can be divided by c's. And that leaves me with just a 3 over 1, which is 3. So that final answer is just 3. Everything else canceled out with each other. Dividing. Keep change flips. So we still need to make them improper. So first step, step 1, make them improper. We got 11 fourths divided by 5 thirds. Then we do our keep change flip. So keep change flip here is keep the first number. We're going to change the multiplication. And we're going to flip the second number to its reciprocal. So this is why one reason we also have to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction, because you can't do a, a reciprocal of a mixed number. But I can do a reciprocal of, a of an improper fraction. This one, I look to see if I can simplify anything. I can't, which is good because that means this answer I get is simplified. So remember, keep the first number, change the multiplication, and then flip to the reciprocal of the fraction. Reciprocal. All right, so I want you to pause it. Try this one on your own. Go slowly, step by step. Notice whether it's multiplication or division, and watch out for the negatives. And then hit play to get your answer. All right, so starting in the parentheses, I have 15 16 fifths times 5 over 2. I can simplify a good bit here. The 5s both become 1s, and this becomes an 8. So it's really just 8 times 1 over 1. So it's really just 8. And there's a negative. So negative 8 divided by 8 ninths. So now I'm doing division. So I keep the first number, negative 8. I change the multiplication, and I do the reciprocal of the second one. So I flip the 9 and the 8. So remember this 8, I can put over 1. Then I can simplify. Divide them both by 8. And I end up getting negative 9 over 1, which is really just negative 9. All right, again, pause it, go slowly. Remember, if it's all division, you're going left to right. Go slowly, step by step, and then hit play to check your answer. All right, again, step one is always going to be make them improper. So make them all improper. Put this over one. Okay, so there. Now we have all our numbers are improper fractions. So part one right here, I do keep, change the multiplication, Flip to the reciprocal and look at all this simplifying I can do. 3 and 3 become 1, 8 and 16 go 2. So now I'm doing 2 divided by negative 4 over 1. So I keep 2, change the multiplication, and I flip to this reciprocal. And I can do more simplifying. 2 and 4 are both divided by 2. And up with a 1 over negative 2. So negative half is my final answer after the double dividing. And remember the negative signs. If there's one negative in the problem and it's all multiplication and division, your answer should be negative. If it's not, you did something wrong, okay? All right, so again, we're gonna try with some variables. So I have negative four, I can put negative four over one. I used to keep change flips. So I keep negative four over one. I change the multiplication. And now I'm doing the reciprocal. So at this point, there's nothing to simplify because both my denominators are 1. So all I have to do is multiply negative 4 times 2y. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And the y just kind of tags along. And if it's over 1, that's really just negative 8y is my final answer. Okay. Next one, same thing. Keep the first one, change the multiplication, and then do the reciprocal. Next one. 
Look for any simplifying. So I got 7 and 14 can simplify, and then both the 5s can simplify. So that leaves me with negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And then down here, it's 1c times 1c. c times c. This might look familiar. I would write as c squared. I'd write it with exponents. If c is multiplying by itself, that's c squared with exponents. So that's our final answer for that one. Now we're getting crazy. Okay, so let's go slowly. We got 5de squared over 6. And actually, let me write this up top because I'm going to use that space for my work. e squared over 6. So I keep the first one, change the multiplication, and now I'm going to flip the second one. All right, I'm going to expand this a little bit. So I have 5 times d times e squared. So I'm going to write it all as 5 times d times e squared would mean there's two e's, all over 6, times 9, and expand this one out, 10 times if it's d squared, there's two d's and one e, okay? Now, what's nice about expanding it like this, it's easier to see what's going to cancel out. So one e and one e can cancel out with each other. One d and one d can cancel out with each other. Um, the 9 and the 6 can simplify, and then I'm done, okay? So now all I have left in the numerator is 5 times e times 3, so that's 15e over, and the denominator I have a 2, a 10, oh, did I leave out the 10? I forgot to simplify some more. Hold on, we got more simplifying to do. Good thing we noticed we got 10 and 5, so this can become a 1, this become a 2. All right, so now all I have left in the numerator is e and a 3, so that's even easier. That's 3e, and I have a 2, a 2, and a d in the denominator, so 2 times 2 is 4d. So our final answer is 3e over 4d. Each time you had 1e in the numerator, 1e in the denominator, they canceled each other out. All right, final one. Go ahead and hit pause, see if you can figure this out, and hit play to get the answer. So I have y over z, that means y divided by z. So y was 2 thirds divided by z, which is 5 sixths. So I can write it out like this, because <coughs> this is the same as y divided by z. So keep, change, flip, look for any simplifying you can do, and then just multiply. And I get 4 fifths. All right, this one we got y divided by y plus 1. So y was 2 thirds. So we got 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds plus 1. 2 thirds plus 1 is 1 and 2 thirds. Um, so we got 2 thirds divided by 1 and 2 thirds. So I need to make 1 and 2 thirds if proper. So that would be 5 thirds. Finally, I need to do keep change flips. So I'm going to do it up here. I got 2 thirds change the multiplication, then do the reciprocal. If I simplify those threes, you're going to cancel out, and I get two fifths. This is my final answer. So that is multiplying and dividing fractions with negatives and variables.